Hey, good evening. Welcome to the Late Night Chat with the Womb Therapist. I am Nicole Brantley, owner and operator of Fresh, which stands for Feminine Restoration, Education, and Solutions for Women's Health. I'm going to invite people while I tell you who I am. I help women who have fibroids, PCOS, endometriosis, those who have trouble conceiving, and so much more, take the option of hysterectomy and other surgeries off of the table to truly get to the root of their healing. Welcome, welcome, you guys. Come on in the room. Let's talk about four ways to lose weight. I hear a lot of people complaining about weight that they can't get off and stubborn weight. So let's talk about it. I'm just inviting a few people to the live. Um, and as soon as I get some people in the room, we'll go ahead and get started. All right. All right. I think that's good. Oops. Let's get this situated. All righty. So welcome, welcome. Hey, Karen, how are you? So for those of you who are here, make sure that you are sharing this live. I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you who share the live and host, um, what do you call those things? Watch parties. So sometimes I don't get to see who's asked questions in your watch party. So if you can encourage them to come directly to the live, that would be great because that way we can um, see the questions live and I can answer them then and not try to have to find them afterwards in all the different watch parties that were started. Um, you know, that way. Hey, Felicia, how are you? So I can't see everybody that's here. It's not showing. Hey, sissy, how are you? Um, so I'm going to jump right in and get started so I don't keep you guys long tonight. So we're talking about four ways to lose weight. I'm well, Felicia. Thank you so much for asking and thank you for always checking on me um, weekly. I truly appreciate it. Those who really check in and be like, you good? Because y'all know that I take on a lot during the week and I'm dealing with all kinds of different energies and I don't necessarily do my Tuesdays like I used to. I do still take time for myself, but um, I'm, I need to get back on my Tuesdays off. But anyway, long story short. Hey, Joe, what's up, girl? So we're going to get right into four ways to lose weight. Um, before I get started, I want to say thank you to all of the replay viewers. Make sure that you type replay if you are watching the replay so that I can know that you were here and say hello. Thank you for being here. I want to thank all of the replay viewers either on Instagram, YouTube, or right here on Facebook. I'm doing much better with getting my videos uploaded to these different platforms because at one point I used to do Instagram and Facebook at the same time on Monday Night Lives and that has since not happened ever since RJ has taken over my iPad when his went, whatever it went, kapunk. Oof, as he would say, as it died. <laughs> I'm doing well, sissy. Thank you. Blessings, Trish. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Christy, how are you? Hey, Anissa from Massachusetts. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so we have four ways to lose weight tonight. There's a lot of people that are like, I have these big thighs. They're not going anywhere. This belly, all of these things like, Nicole, what can I do to lose weight? And there's some very simple things that you can do to lose weight. And that's what I'm going to share with you tonight. So four ways to lose weight. The first one is walking. Yes. Something as simple as walking. You do not need a gym membership for it. You can walk in your neighborhood. You can walk in the park. You can walk at a mall. You can walk on a track. Um, wherever you can get you a walk in and you're safe and it's well lit. Walking is absolutely amazing. So the first way to lose weight is walking. It's low impact yet effective okay so you're not putting a lot of strain on your muscles and you know ca causing harm to your knees and things of that nature with the impact of running or jogging sometimes people have very sensitive or weak knees which comes from acid chewing up the cartilage and some people just can't partake in that so there's ways to grow that cartilage back um one of them is my Palo Santo roll-on. Um, a lot of people have regrown knee cartilage by using Palo Santo, the essential oil roll-on that I make and sell in my shop. But there's other ways to do it um, through detoxification and changing your diet and rebuilding your body, your muscles, your cells, your tissues, okay? Because everything is able to regenerate itself. So walking. 
uh, low impact yet effective. And make sure you guys share this live. A lot of people want to lose weight, so let's get this information to them. It improves digestion. There's a lot of people suffering with digestive issues. So how does it improve digestion? Because it engages your core muscles, right? And it stimulates movement of the GI tract. So it gets moving, things moving. I love when I wake up, have me a nice um, room temperature glass of lemon or key lime water, and then I get out there and I hit the neighborhood and I walk all the way to the top and I come all the way back, <laughs> all right? Usually, if I haven't already, it will encourage a bowel movement. We want to get things moving out of that GI tract. A lot of us don't realize that we are holding on to 30, 40, and for some of us, 50 pounds of waste in our colon. I have had people in my detox group lose 30 and 40 and 50 pounds, depending on if it was a 30, 60, or 90 days. But a lot of people, there was one group I had, a couple of people lost 18 pounds in the first week. And that was because they were pooping. I had them on an herb that helped to stimulate um, bowel movements and clean out the colon, heal and tone, and cleanse it out. And they lost 18 pounds the first week, almost a total of 30 something pounds before the end of the month was over. So for some, it's easier to lose weight than others. Hello, Deborah. Hello, Sharonda. Thank you guys for being here. All right, so we said low impact, walking is low impact and it's effective. It improves digestion because we engage those core muscles and we stimulate movement in the GI tract. Hey, Laura, how are you, girly? Um, it boosts the immune system. Those who walk 20 minutes a day at minimum have stronger immune systems and that's because we're engaging the body, okay? We're breathing. <laughs> Yolanda's in my, detox, my current detox program and she said, yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> that herb every morning, sometimes three times a day. And that's what we want when we have a colon full of poop. And sometimes it takes months to get rid of all of that stuff. So the fact that you're still going that often means that it's still old fecal matter there. Not necessarily what you're eating now, but old fecal matter. And Yolanda, you know because you lost weight. Maybe not all of the weight that you wanted to lose at this point, but we're almost 60 days in and you've lost a significant amount of weight. So... Congratulations to you for doing the work. Congratulations to Laura for doing the work. All right, Laura has consistently lost two pounds a week, just like almost everybody else in the group. Thank you so much for subscribing, Anissa. So Anissa has the first way to lose weight as being walking, okay? Again, the next thing that it assists with when you walk is it helps you to have better balance and coordination by keeping critical muscle memory intact. So when you consistently move that body, you are strengthening it, right? And so when you strengthen it, you keep your critical muscle memory intact. Muscles know exactly how to bounce back and what to do, all right? It helps you have better sleep. It helps you fall asleep faster and, and have a more sound sleep because you're engaging the body, you're moving, you're not just sitting on the couch like a couch potato not really doing anything, okay? So just know that walking has many benefits. Um, it moves the lymphatic system. We want the lymphatic system to move. That is where 99.9% .9 of man's issues are, is in his or her lymphatic system. So if we get that system to move, we help help the body to get rid of dis-ease, okay? Thank you guys so much for sharing the live. Welcome, welcome to all of you who are coming in the room. All right, and consistent walking helps with weight loss and it decreases joint pain, especially in the knees and the hips. If you're having joint pain in your knees and your hips, you need to be on my detox healing tea as well as my having my Palo Santo roll on so you can put it on those knees and those hips prior to a walk. All of my people who have purchased that Palo Santo roll on, they're like, oh my God, I have noticed amazing changes in my knees and my hip. I don't have the same joint pain. My mother she had an ache on her side a couple of weeks ago. She put the Palo Santo roll on on one time and every day she would say to me, you know that pain didn't come back in my side? You know that pain didn't come back near my hip? You know that pain? It hasn't even returned. I have somebody who was having problems with their knee. They put it on before a walk. She's like, my walks are so much better much better i feel great after walk my knee is not bothering me so if you guys have not gotten your palo santo roll-ons 
you need to get them. Go out there on my Instagram page or my Facebook page and go and look at all of those benefits, improving or boosting the immune system, helping you with getting grounded and centered, eliminating anxiety, helping rebuild cartilage in your knees and other joints. I mean, it has so many benefits. Go out there relieving headaches. Um, the other day, for some reason, I had cramps. I put it right there in my lower abdomen. Five minutes, cramps gone. I was like, what did I eat? What was that? What was that about? But whatever it was, the Palo Santo knocked it on out. So these are natural ways to do things to help and aid the body to heal itself. All right. So the first one, as Anissa shared with you guys, one of the four ways to lose weight is by walking consistently. Okay. So if you just miss what I said under the walking, um, ways to lose weight under walking and, and the benefits of walking, go back and watch the replay. Next is eating raw foods. So I'm not telling you to become a raw foodie. I'm saying incorporate more raw food into your diet. Okay. That is going to help you with weight loss. All right. You're going to live a longer, healthier life when you learn to incorporate raw foods. There are way too many of us eating only cooked food. We eat it for breakfast, we eat it for lunch, and we eat it for dinner. Where are your nuts and seeds? Where are your fresh fruit? Where's your salads? Where are your vegetables? A lot of us don't eat that. We eat meats and rices, rice and beans and other starches and french fries and we, we got to eat the fruit. We have to eat the most highest vibrational food on the planet and that's fruit. Okay, we should be breaking our fast with that in some form, whether it's fresh fruit, whether it's a fresh fruit smoothie or a cold pressed fruit juice, but we need to be getting that in. It makes a complete difference for your day. It sets the tone for your day, the energy that you're going to have so that you don't crash and burn. A cup of coffee is not it, people. It's not it. Coffee is so dehydrating. All right. It overstimulates the nervous system. It causes you to crash and burn. And that's just the coffee. We're not talking about the creamer that's fattening and full of sugar. Okay. We haven't even gotten to what you sweeten it with and then the in the creamer. So no no to the cup of Joe. Drink a cup of juice. Eat a cup of a bowl of fruit. Okay. Eat a smooth drink a cold pressed smoothie. All right. So eating raw. So it what we're going to do is we're going to be incorporating more foods to help with weight loss. It helps to cleanse the skin, the blood, the cells, and the tissues. That is a must. We always have to be doing things to maintain great health. All right? They have to be incorporated in your daily regimens. We all need to cleanse our skin, our blood, our cells, and our tissues often. And that's why incorporating raw foods daily is going to be key. All right. Raw foods are low carb. They're low sugar. First of all, they're not refined sugars. There's a difference between refined sugars and fruit sugars, natural occurring sugars and fruit. Your body needs that to fuel itself and your brain needs that to fuel the body. All right. So don't get it twisted that we don't need these carbs. We absolutely do need them, but they need to be low carb, low on the the uh, calorie side and things of that nature. So it neutralizes acidosis in the body. Every time we eat a cooked meal, it leaves behind acidosis. So when you eat fruit, it does the opposite. So you need to incorporate raw foods to neutralize the acids in your body to combat disease, to combat inflammation. Okay. Melons and other high water content fruits are flushers and they aid in weight loss. I'm giving you all the clues. This is why you need to be eating raw. This is how you're going to aid in your weight loss. All right. I love melons. I've been melons. Melon smoothies have become a favorite of mine. If you go out there and look, I've posted two recent um, melon smoothies. Okay. I'll have exact recipes in the books that I'm currently writing and producing for you guys to share and partake in some of the staples that I, the juices that I drink, the smoothies that I drink. Um, the staple foods that I kind of keep rotating for dinner when I do eat a cooked meal and things of that nature, as well as how to eat certain foods to heal your fibroids, your PCOS, your endometriosis, and your trouble conceiving, okay? So I'm putting together a food guide to help you understand those things. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to launch and release that. Fruit or eating raw foods heals the body, 
Cooked food does not do that. It always brings inflammation, okay? Even if you consider it alkaline and cooked, because I know there's a lot of Sebites out there and when you eat doctors from Dr. Sebi's list and I'm telling you, once you cooked food, cook food, you change the composition of the food. So therefore your body receives it in a different way. When you keep food in its natural state, when you do not violate law number one, which is eating from the earth, consuming things that come from nature, your body knows exactly what to do with it. We pick the low hanging sweet fruit. That's why we have fingers. That's why we have the teeth that we have. We're not carnivores. We don't have teeth to rip through meat. We don't have five foot of intestines, <laughs> okay? We have 20 to 20, 22 to 24. They're very long. So when we eat and consume meat, it gets stuck along the way, all right? I just had an amazing um, appointment for my son with a colon hydrotherapist. He's going for something different. He got rid of his dairy allergy. But, you know, me and her talked about colon hydrotherapy and just the things that she sees and the people that she's helped. And, and we'll get to that in a minute because that's another, that's one of the other ways. So backtrack. So it heals the body. It increases your energy levels when you eat raw food. You don't feel sluggish and down and tired and need to go lay down after you just ate a meal. You actually have energy that you want to burn off. You want to walk. You want to move. You have energy to play with your kids and do whatever it is that you need to do. All right? It aids in digestion. How many Americans have digestive system issues? Many of us. Okay? The acid reflux, the heartburn, the GERD you know, the peristalsis is not working. So we feel like that we got food sitting in our chest as soon as we eat it, all of the things. So we need something that aids in di digestion. So walking improves it. Eating raw food helps to heal any digestive tract issues. Hey, Sherelle, how are you? So it's easier fat loss. When you, when you partake in raw food, you're not dealing with a whole bunch of fat that your body's gonna store for later low carb, low sugar, okay? It's going to aid in weight loss, usually high in water. Zucchini is an excellent example of a vegetable high in water that aids in digestion and aids in weight loss, okay? It decreases pain from inflammation conditions such as arthritis. When you're dealing with arthritis or any other joint, knee, hip, or whatever pain, you are dealing with high levels of acidosis in your body. Pain is acid. Acid is pain. Okay? And so these raw foods neutralize acid. Therefore, they erase pain. I call fruit natural painkillers. All right? We have to work with nature. We have to work with our bodies. When we go against the grain, we get results that go against the grain. But as soon as people start to do the things that I'm telling you to do, the weight falls off. The skin looks amazing. The body goes to where it's supposed to be. People get so caught up. I don't want to get too skinny. I don't want to get, you will go, your body will go where it's supposed to go. And if you're already skinny and you're worried about losing weight and looking gaunt, you are malabsorbed. When you're dealing with malabsorption, you're going to lose weight before you gain it. You have to get rid of all of the gunk off of your colon wall. And when that is gone and you can now absorb and utilize the nutrients that you're putting in your body, your body will begin to gain weight, proper weight. It'll go to where it's supposed to go. Your cheeks will fatten up. You won't look so gaunt and sucked in. But you have to go through the process. Stop being afraid of that. Stop worrying about what people are going to think. Do what you need to do to heal your body so that you can get the results that you're getting. Stop trying to bulk up on french fries and potatoes and all the fattening foods, that's just going to give you blowback. Because when you eat all of those grains, you're wiping your butt up with a whole roll of toilet paper because grains are sticky and gluey during digestion, all right? Starches shut down the kidneys over time, which produce more acid because not enough is leaving your urine, more of it is backing up into your body. You're increasing the weight gain. If you're stressed and you're not handling your stressor, stressors, you're increasing the cortisol to bring that belly fat. When your acid has nowhere to go, it starts to stick to your place, your thigh, places like your thighs and your arms and these, in your belly where you're like, oh my God, things are, I look like I'm blowing up. The acid needs a place to go. It needs to leave out through those kidneys. All right. So one, four ways to lose weight. One was walking. 
two was eating raw foods, all right? And so if you just missed all of the things that came underneath that, make sure you go back and watch the replay. One thing I left out was better moods, okay? When you increase your energy, you increase your mood. You feel so much better. So I'm not telling you to become a raw foodie. I'm not saying you gotta eat completely raw. I'm saying incorporate raw foods throughout your day and notice how your body responds to that, okay? That's what I am saying. All right, three, number three, cleaning out your colon is key to losing weight. I just told you when I was talking about walking, a lot of us are holding 30 to 40 to 50 pounds of waste in our colons. When we poop that stuff out, the weight falls off, okay? It, it has to go. That's a significant amount of weight loss right there. And if you are constipated, if you have trouble going to the bathroom, you don't go often, like I told you in my last week live about constipation, you need to get some colon hydrotherapy. You need to eat more fibrous foods. You gotta eat more uh, water, fruits that are high in water content like melons that are flushers to help and aid you with going to the bathroom regularly, to speed up bowel elimination time so that when you eat a meal, you poop a meal, all right? And you don't have 18 meals from the whole week left behind in you. You have to aid your body to do what it's created to do, okay? So cleansing the colon is the third thing that's gonna help you release weight because it's gonna increase your energy, which will give you the energy to do things like go walking, okay? Get your body moving, wanting to do things other than sit around and lay around. It's going to boost your immune system because it's full of toxicity, especially if you have a distended belly. I told you before, it stuck with me for years, 15, 20 years at this point. Dr. Oz said, and I don't follow him tooth and nail because I don't agree with everything that he says, but when he said, when you are dealing with a distended belly, that's a sick person, okay? That person is dying. Like, I want you to understand that because you have to understand the toxicity, the, the putrefaction, the rotting, the dead decomposing flesh that's in your stomach, literally leaching out to other parts of your body. And you're wondering why you're sluggish and you're tired and you don't feel good and you have stomach aches and you feel sick and you feel nauseous. You're full of toxins and you have to eliminate them from your body, all right? So it increases energy. <clears throat> this is what I'm cleansing your colon does. Increases energy, boosts the immune system. Um, when you take herbs that are specific for the stomach and bowel, you can help yourself get rid of those wastes sooner, quicker, faster. Um, you wanna decrease, it decreases the toxicity and removes toxicity from your body. You don't want a bunch of toxins floating around in your body. How can that help you? It can't. Okay, it improves your skin when you get rid of that toxicity. Now you don't have all of this acid trying to push out through your pores, through your scalp in the form of thick, nasty, stinky dandruff. Okay, so we have to improve our, we improve, we can improve um, eczema, psoriasis, rashes, hives, any skin conditions by cleansing that colon. Okay, by doing what? By eating raw foods, more fibrous foods in our diet that flush us and get rid of the things that it needs to get rid of. When you cleanse your colon, you improve liver function. Liver, Our liver is our filter. We need it functioning optimally. We don't need it clogged and fatty and not doing its job, okay? So that's what cleansing out the colon does. Um, you can do colon hydrotherapy is an excellent um, service to partake in, to clean most of the colon. It doesn't clean it all out because it doesn't go with all the twists and turns before a large portion of that lower half of our colon. It does an amazing job cleaning it out. You have to do the rest by what you're putting in your mouth to clean out the top part. But once you move the waste from the bottom, the rest of that stuff can move on down and come on out, all right? So you have to do the things that aid your body in weight loss. Again, cleaning the colon aids in weight loss. That's what we're looking, we're seeking to do here. Um, it relieves bloating, cramps, and gas. A lot of y'all are improperly combining foods that are giving you gas, too much protein, which is causing you to cramp, all right? Eating things improperly, which causes you to bloat. <clears throat> So bloating, cramps, and gas can go away when you begin to cleanse your colon, 
when you begin to eat those raw foods, when you go on those walks and it aids in digestion because it's helping move that food along and helping you to stimulate a bowel movement. All right, do you see how these things collectively work together? As I was telling my group in another video that I recently recorded, you can't just do one isolated thing and think that it's gonna work. It doesn't work like that. You have to do a, a, an abundance of things, collectively three, four, or five things working together to get you to that end result quicker, sooner, faster, okay? It um, decreases your chances of colon cancer because let me tell you guys something, when you're dealing with malabsorption, when you're dealing with a bunch of old fecal matter that is putrefied, that's rotting, that is decomposing in your colon, and it's chewing on your tissue and those acids are in there chewing up and you might be dealing with, um, oh gosh, I can't even think of the, the disease, diverticulitis or colitis, inflammation of the colon and things that are chewing the tissues up, causing you to have internal bleeding and bleeding in your stools. You are some steps away from colon cancer. It is not a game. Nothing to play with. So this is why it's so crucial for you to cleanse your colon and often. You have to maintain it, all right? You can't just be cute for 30 days. You can't go on this little seven day smoothie challenge, this five day juice challenge and think you've done something. It doesn't stop there. You have to keep going. I cannot wait for my, my shirts, t-shirts to launch. Detox is a lifestyle, people. You have to make it a lifestyle. You have to incorporate certain routines and patterns in order for you to see results, period. All right? It improves your mood. When you get rid of colon, uh, things in your colon, things that have been sitting and rotten and decomposing and chewing up your tissues and all that old fecal matter that smells absolutely completely horrible, you improve mood when you get rid of that stuff because toxins make you tired. Toxins make you moody. You don't feel like being bothered. You don't want to work today. You don't want to do, that's what toxicity does, okay? So <clears throat> clean out your colon. Go back and watch my constipation video where I give more tools on how you can do that, all right? Get on an herbal protocol with me. Book your personal detox and herbal protocol consultation. Stop sitting back on the sidelines listening for other people's results. That's not how you get results. You listening is not going to get you a result. You getting some skin in the game, jumping in there and doing your own thing, participating in the next group detox, getting on your personal, your own personal detox. Those are the things that are going to get you your wins, your successes, not other people's stories. Okay. So cleanse out your colon. That was number three. Number four, eliminating sugar. Oh my God. You all will not believe how many people come to me like, oh my God, I'm addicted to sugar. I don't know why I can't stop eating it. I just, I crave it. Your parasites are craving that sugar. Your parasites are telling you what they want and you give in to them, all right? So when you're cleaning your colon, you're also going to get rid of them parasites with the parasite formula, okay? Because you're not going to have them dictating to you what they want to have and then you give in to that, those cravings. So you have to cleanse your colon. You have to get rid of parasites, get rid of candida, all of the things that come with it, all right? A lot of us are suffering with autoimmune diseases, which I don't believe in. They're just locked in acid diseases because your kidneys are not filtering your acid, things are backing up, and your elimination organs are one by one shutting down. And so the ways that you would get rid of stuff, you're not. And if you are, it's very minimal. One of my participants in my group just celebrated a win today. She finally saw sediment in her urine. Woohoo! Yes, we're opening up those kidneys, baby. Okay, but she's doing the work. She's eating properly. She's drinking the right things. She's on her tinctures. She's drinking my herbal teas. She's doing what she's supposed to do. She's doing her daily to-dos that I tell those people in the group to do. And she's getting results. Results speak for themselves, okay? Another one of my group participants sent me an email today and she's like, oh my God, my period is back. It's I, it, I was so pain-free, I didn't even know it, it showed up. She's working on working through trouble conceiving, but guess what? Her period's here. She hasn't seen it. She didn't know when she was ovulating, but we have restored pituitary gland function. It's not a game, people, but she's putting in the work. 
You have to do the work. There's no way around it, okay? You know how some people say they wanna take the elevator? No, you always have to take the stairs. The elevator, you ain't moved nothing. You just stood in one spot and got to the next level. When you walk them stairs, you're moving stuff. You're gonna get results from that because you're actually doing work. You're actually taking action. So you gotta take the steps in your life, people. So elimination of sugar. Sugar is fattening, period. You don't believe me? Eat sugar for a whole week straight and watch how much weight you gain. Eat sugar for two weeks straight. Watch how much weight you gain. Eat it for a month. You'll be in a different size. Skirt, jeans, pants, shorts, shirt, t-shirt, whatever. Sugar is fattening. Okay, and I'm talking refined sugar. I'm talking about sugar that's processed and everything's been stripped out of it. It's been bleached and other stuff has been added back to it to try to give you. There is zero nutritional value. Sugar is the number one drug on the planet. Stronger drug than cocaine. And it's legal. Mm, isn't that interesting? We will not go there tonight because this is supposed to be a quick live. Let me make sure I'm staying on task. <laughs> so it's fattening. You eliminate it, you will lose weight. Okay, you will see the difference. It increases your energy. It reduces inflammation in the body. As soon as you take in sugar, there goes inflammation immediately. All right, it decreases your chances. When you eliminate sugar, it decreases your chances of diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, liver disease, and other infla inflammation or inflammatory diseases. All disease has inflammation at the root of them. Okay, you gotta get things moving. When you eliminate sugar, you increase your ability to focus. You have mental clarity. You can get more done. You improve your health. Do you hear me? You have to eliminate sugar. And if you feel like you are addicted and you can't do it, you have to eliminate parasites. You gotta get rid of them. Now we all have bacterium in our gut for microbes and they help to eat things when we've neutralized the acid in our stomach by eating and drinking or we've improperly combined something. We need them, but not in overabundance. We all have parasites, but they're not supposed to be in our bodies in the amounts that they are in because of the meat that we're eating, the canned food that we're eating that has tons of worms that we can't see to the naked eye. Do not get me started on that. Um, there are many ways that we bring um, bacterium and other parasites into our body, meat being one of the number one ways, okay? Dead, rotting, decomposing flesh that's putrefying and rotting. Uh, out from that comes what? Parasites, okay? Think of nature. Think of when you put a dead body in the ground, right? You don't need to send parasites in there. It's, they start to come from the ground and from the flesh and they, nature, Con the weakest consume, the strong survives. It's the same thing in your body. Grasp that concept, all right? So you must eliminate sugar. I'm not talking about fruit sugar or natural sugars. Your body needs that to fuel the brain and the body. Our body computes that as information. It knows exactly what to do with it. It gives us the glowing skin. It gives us the increased um, energy and the, the boost in mood and all of those good things natural sugars do. You cannot eat too many grapes. Stop listening to those doctors that's telling you that. You cannot eat too much sugar. If your sugar is spiking from any fruit, whether they're citrus fruits, whether they're semi, uh, not semi, what's the word I'm looking for? Sweet fruits. Um, I'm, I, I lost the word that I was looking for. Anyway, semi-acidic fruits. You have to fix your pancreas. You have to restore liver function. And you have to restore adrenals. You have to restore, restore the adrenal glands. Okay? So... Eliminating sugar can help you lose weight, increase your energy, reduce inflammation, reduce your chances of diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, liver disease, and any other inflammatory diseases. It increases your ability to focus, your mental clarity, and your health. But I'm not going to stop there because you know your girl always got a bonus for you. Okay, so I told you four ways. Walking, eating raw foods, cleansing your colon, eliminating sugar. But the fifth, Bonus. Come on, Nissa. Hit him with the bonus, girl. The fifth way and bonus for getting rid of weight and getting rid of it fast is opening those kidneys. I need you to understand that weight 
is acid. Acid is weight. Every time you eat a cooked meal, your cells eat and poop, right? That poop needs to go, so it goes to the lymphatic system, which is your sewer system that takes out the trash. But if you all you're eating is cooked meals, no fruit to neutralize that, no vegetables for water and flushing and, and none of that stuff, that lymphatic system gets locked in. It gets stagnant. It gets congested. It's not moving. The trash is not going out. Acid becomes weight. Acid starts sticking to those thighs. Acid starts sticking to those arms. Acid starts sticking to those that belly. Okay? Cellulite. Acid that has not left the body. You can do things like dry skin brushing to help move the lymphatic system. Walking, as we've already talked about, to move that lymphatic system. You got to get it moving. Again, the lymphatic system is where 99.9% percent of man's disease is created. That's why we're sick, because our lymphatic system is stagnant because of all the acid that's not leaving through your kidneys. So kidney filtration is super important. If you have pressure and pain in your lower back, your kidneys are failing. News flash, Americans, most of our kidneys are failing. They're going down if they're not already down. There's no coincidence that so many people are on dialysis, okay? So we all have to open up the kidneys um, to get rid of the acid so that we can get rid of the weight. Acid leaves the body, weight falls off. I'm telling you, personal experience and the experience with my clients over the last three and a half years with these detox programs. I'm telling you what I know, but you have to do it. How do you open the kidneys, Nicole? <clears throat> Come into either one of my detox group detox programs or get on a personal detox and herbal protocol consultation with me and you will get a regimen and herbal protocol specific to opening the kidneys, to restoring adrenal gland function, to getting the lymphatic system to move, to restoring the pancreas if you have diabetes type 2 so that you're not spiking your sugar every time you eat a piece of fruit. That is not normal or natural. It is a sign that your pancreas is weak and not function functioning optimally during the digestive process, which the pancreas is responsible for. So when it's not doing that, this is why your sugar is spiking. Thank you so much, Marilyn. Thank you so much, Anissa. Kelly says, so can I dry brush my stomach? What I suggest is when you dry brush your arms and you brush towards your heart, same thing with your legs and dry brush towards your heart, you can actually brush the belly, that's fine. When you do those things, that stimulates and gets the lymphatic system to move. So long as you do your arms and legs, and thighs and just always brush up in an upward motion towards your heart. You can do the belly. doesn't matter. It gets things moving, okay? It get, helps to get rid of... If you are consistent with it, you will see cellulite disappear. If you open your kidneys, you will help. You will see cellulite disappear. And we won't talk about varicose veins and things of that nature on this live, but that is a connective tissue issue. That's because you have too much acidosis in your body and it's breaking things down in your vascular system. You have to increase your circulation, both upper and lower. All right. We got to stop acting like this machine is supposed to function optimally when we're giving it crap. We out here talking about black lives matter, black lives matter. We got to start eating like our black lives matter. We have to start drinking like our Black Lives Matter. Water, okay? Cold pressed juices, smoothies, not wine and liquor and alcohol that sends the body a 911. Poison, poison, stop healing over here and get this stuff out of our body. And then the next day you are dead tired because you don't understand the amount of work you just put on your body to perform to get rid of the poison. It's okay every once in a while. But when you drink a, a glass of wine, drink double the amount of water. You drink eight ounces of, of wine, make sure that you're drinking 16 ounces of water at minimum. 20 plus would be even better. Make sure you take you some vitamin C prior and some vitamin C upon waking the next day. Okay? To help aid in what your body is having to go through. It's harsh. If you can eliminate alcohol, especially if you're sick, if you are high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, if you have any of that stuff, you should not be drinking anything, okay? Not a wine cooler, not a glass of wine, none of it, because alcohol is it's acidic. 
and it sends a 911 to the body that there's an emergency where we need to get poison out of our system. It's fattening as hell. Okay? For those of you, and it creates inflammation on the spot. All of my cocktail queens that have to have cocktails and got to be cute with their drink in hand. I'm not judging you, but I'm letting you know that you are doing harm to your body. You are. All right? So that was the bonus. Open those kidneys. Restore kidney function through my one of my detox programs where you get on an herbal protocol, where you cleanse out that colon, where you learn to walk and live a lifestyle of detox. So I'm not just one of these seven day, 10 day smoothie challenge chicks. No, no, no. There's so much more than that. You have to do so much more than eat your way into health. Living a lifestyle of detox is going to get you there, okay? It takes a collective of things to help your body to heal. So again, we have four ways to lose weight plus a bonus. We had walking, we had eating raw, we had cleaning out that colon, eliminating that sugar, and opening those kidneys. And essentially, detoxing is really what it is. Detoxing the body so you can open the kidneys, restore adrenal gland function, get the lymphatic system moving, and fixing any other organs and glands that are down so that they can be restored to proper function and the body can begin to heal itself. We have to oil this machine. When you have a well-oiled machine, it runs smoothly. It runs optimally. But when you constantly give it crap and run it down and you don't give it the things that it needs and it's sluggish and it's tired, you are contributing to your illness. So do the things to contribute to your wellness. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys tonight. Make sure you take care of your body so that your body can take care of you because as you know, health does not happen by chance. It happens by choice. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for sharing this live. Thank you to all my replay viewers on Facebook, um, Instagram, and YouTube. I appreciate you guys for being here and for sharing this. Thank you so much. I wanna make sure I didn't miss any questions you're welcome, Karen. You're welcome, Yolanda. Nikki mm -hmm. says, thank you so much. I need this information today. You're most welcome. All right. Uh, Yolanda says, does it have to be a certain type of brush? Yes. There is a certain kind of brush called a dry brush, um, dry skin brush. You can find them at places like Target, maybe Walmart. Um, just search online. But yes, it's a dry skin brush specifically for you dry brushing your skin. Um, and the benefit is helping the lymph lymphatic system to move, getting rid of cellulite, and helping things to heal in the body. Yes. Um, and you can, Anissa says, you can get lymphatic massages as well. Absolutely. And I just gave one today um, on my day off, but I had a client that had, she needed some emergency whatever. And one of the services that we performed was an aroma touch to really zap her levels of stress. And incorporated in that um, is lymph drainage is a lymph you know massage we get things to move down towards the kidneys and eliminate out of the body every time i get a aroma touch i always make sure i pee in a glass jar to look at my kidney filtration and i always get more sediment after an aroma touch so book your aroma touches help get your parasympathetic and your sympathetic nervous system lined up if you're here local in the charlotte area it is absolutely amazing i prefer it over massage it is mostly touch therapy your scalp your neck your back and your feet are what's touched not the front of your body, but when I tell you, you get up feeling absolutely amazing, restored, rejuvenated, refreshed, I can't, I, I, I just can't say enough about it. It's absolutely amazing. It takes you to another place. Your stresses melt away, okay? Ain't got nothing. Calgon ain't got nothing on Aroma Touch. <laughs> so yeah, so make sure you guys are doing the things for yourself that you need to do. You're welcome, Mama Kelly. So um, I hope that you guys, thank you so much, Marilyn, for um, sharing that. Marilyn and Anissa both scribed and they told you four ways to lose that weight. Walking, eating raw foods, cleansing your colon, eliminating sugar and kidney filtration, stimulating the lymphatic system. So that is what you need to do. If you need to book a 10 minute complimentary consultation with me to speak specifically about what you have going on in your body to get my recommendations for best course of action on how to get started on what to do first, on what you need to do, book those. They're 10 minutes. But let me say this. Show up to your 10 minute free consultation. See, because when people don't pay their money for stuff, sometimes they don't show up. And I had people do that this week. My time is of the essence. 
I ain't got no time to waste. I come to my calls prepared. When you fill out your intake form, I'm ready for you. I got tons of information to give you so you can know what to do, where to start, what you even start doing before you even see me or speak to, you know, have a, a full on service with me. So when you show up, that that that's not good. Okay, and then you want to reschedule and then don't show up again. Show up to your cons consultations. If you if you do that, I make you go over to Patreon, pay for one of the tiers in order to ask me a question to get your answers because you disrespected my time. I don't play it. I got that time slot could have been for somebody else. Okay, so make sure that if you book a 10 minute complimentary consultation, you show up. Make sure if you're dealing with, you know, knee pain, joint pain, hip pain, go out there and get your Palo Santo roll-ons to help with rebuilding that knee cartilage, helping you have easier walks when you go on your morning walks. Morning walks are the best. Getting that vitamin D in before noon, keeping your shades off so that the vitamin D can come in through your eyes, getting it in your body to activate your melanin and do what it needs to do. Get your vitamin D in at least 20 minute walks a day it will change your life. Breathing in that fresh air. Do not walk with no mask on. Do not run or jog with a mask on. You are, it's it's counterproductive. That's all I'll say. So make sure that when you're out in the fresh air, breathe it in. When you're in your car and you're by yourself, even if you're with other people, your loved ones, take that mask off in the car, roll the windows down or have your air conditioner on. Breathe in the fresh air. It is critical to your body. It needs it for oxygen, okay? It needs it for life. So understand that. Um, I'm just making sure I'm not missing any any more questions. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Anissa, so much for subscribing. Yes, eat your fruit, melons, and berries. They are so necessary. And if you guys are looking for a colon hydrotherapist in Charlotte, make sure you hit me up and I will give you um, the plug. Okay, and it looks like somebody in the comments may be a colon hydrotherapist. So um, I can vouch for the other person's work. So whoever you go to see, that's perfectly fine. You can't really get it wrong. It's an amazing service that the body actually needs. And often I would say get a minimum of a three package deal. Do not just get one session and that's it. You're going to need at least three to get started. All right. So get a three pack service. Um, the person that I recommend has a package deal going on right now. Um, you must do the daily work to get the desired results. So I love you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, again, if you book a one on a 10 minute complimentary consultation, make sure you come to the consultation. Do not have me on there listening to the whole music or it's going to be not so nice the next time. OK, and I, I keep it very professional. But don't disrespect people's time because I have people who want to be on my calendar. I have people reaching out to me all the time. And the way to ensure to get me is to be on the calendar. So when you don't show up, you just compromise the spot that somebody else could have had, you know, that really, truly needs healing. So make sure that um, you respect and honor my time. If you miss it again and you try to reschedule, I'm going to reach out and I'm going to say you have to book through Patreon, sign up for one of the tiers, ask your question through email, and I will respond to you in 24 to 48 hours. So that is another way to be a member, a membership of my Patreon. It's at www.patreon.com forward slash womb therapist. There's four different tiers over there. There's many things that I do with my members over there um, that can aid you in living your lifestyle of detox. So with that being said, I want to say thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you guys, all of the replay viewers. Thank you for all of you who are here live, who shared, who participated. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the thumbs up. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Peace.